The recent series of Texaco Trophy matches was unfortunately marred by poor weather, but enough play was possible to gain a result in two of the three games. India arrived with high expectations, but their batsmen never really got going. Their bowlers did pose problems for England, however, especially the new ball pairing of Srinat and Prasad. England new boy Ali Brown looked a little out of his depth as the ball seemed around at the oval, but he battled it out for 37 and would prove his point later. Two batsmen stood out for England in that first match. Graham Hick continued where he'd left off for Worcester, and his 91 was the cornerstone on which England built their innings of 291. Another fine shot from Hick. Second forward succession. Crashed away to the covers. Pulled away. That's into space at mid-wicket. The other batting performance to take the eye was that of Mark Elam, also making his debut. He took 12 balls to get off the mark, but then asserted himself well, at one stage hitting Tendulkar for successive sixes. When he was finally deceived by Kumle, he'd made a valuable 40 from only 34 balls. Well, the gamble is working for Mark Elam, but not for Mohamed Azruddin and Sachin Tendulkar. Mark Elam races on to 38. But it was the spectacular return of Chris Lewis which earned the highest praise. His four wickets on his new home ground were all the result of high-quality bowling as he kept the ball well up to the bat and he was not afraid to show his pleasure as each wicket went down. Beautifully taken at slip. Very good bowling by Lewis. Bowling! Great delivery from Lewis. Nick back through the gate between bat and pad and Sidhu, tentative. Oh, he's gone. Mandraker has dragged a Lewis delivery on from outside off stump. The leg stump is back and Lewis is burning hot. 68 for five, India. But the rain intervened when England seemed set for a comfortable victory and with the reserve day washed out as well, the sides went to Headingley all square. Here, the English improvement since the winter was most in evidence, as the team exposed so brutally in the World Cup showed a new sense of athleticism and purpose in the field. Mark Elam was alive to the problem at mid-on. That's a quick one. Rich High call for the third umpire. Superb throw. may be close enough to show that uh, that instant request from umpire Merv Kitchen has some validity. In the air, and taken. Now, Peter Martin, who has fielded well out there today, has taken the catch, uh, wickets from successive deliveries, Jadeja goes, and uh, England right on top here at Headingley. Chasing a low target, England shrugged off a poor start to win at a canter. Graham Thorpe survived some early scares and in partnership with Alex Stewart gradually took total command. Plays it very well. One of the features of Graham Thorpe's batting. Bowlers simply can't afford to pitch short. That's good square drive. Half century for Graham Thorpe. That's four. No need to run for that one. A wonderful stroke. Thorpe has played a lot of good strokes today. Nothing better than that. And that's it. The square drive again Thank from uh, Graham Thorpe. Victory for England here at Heading Lee. First of the Texaco area, matches, please. having finished in a draw after rain intervened. And now the second game won by England. India made a couple of changes for the match at Old Trafford, the most significant of which was the dropping of Navjot Sidhu. So incensed was Sidhu that he promptly stormed out of the tour party. Before the World Cup, India had boasted five of the top ten one-day batsmen in the world, as illustrated on the Cover Point World Cup preview. 
Now only two remain, following Sidhu's departure, Prabhakar's retirement and Kamli's non-selection on disciplinary grounds. Nevertheless, India produced their best batting performance of the series, with Ratur and Ganguly providing a solid foundation and Azruddin contributing a dazzling knock. A really good hit that by Ratur. Good shot. Tries to place it away and succeeds. That's straight down the ground, it's in the air. Nowhere near any of the fielders and six runs. Good performance from uh, India, 236 for four in the full 50 overs. Ali Brown silenced his critics with an impressive display that proved him to be much That's more than just a pinch hitter. His innings of 118 came from only 137 balls, yet he showed mature judgment on how to pace a run chase. Club that away straight down the ground. That's a good stroke. It wasn't a very good ball received precisely the treatment it deserved. Uh, straight down the ground, it's going to clear Kumble. Six runs to Ali Brown. And a nice way to bring up a 50. That's a fine shot. That's uh, edged fine. That's nicely placed. Hundred for Ali Brown. A hundred out of one hundred and eighty-three for his side. Very pleasant moment indeed for the man from Surrey. His third one to international, coming into the England side for the first time just a few days ago. That's it, and England have won the third of the Texaco Internationals to go with the second they won at Hiddingley. Congratulations all round. From the ruins of this Texaco series, the tourists can at least take great comfort from the performances of Javigal Srinath and Venkatesh Prasad, who repeatedly beat the bat with movement in the air and off the seam. Had they received support of even average quality from the other seam bowlers, the Texaco trophy might have been far more evenly poised.